Hey guys, Epic Pokemon TCG here, and as you saw before, I covered Michael Feller's first place deck for the Texas Days 2014. Okay, so I'm here with uh, the 2014 Texas State winner, Michael Feller. And now we're going to take a look at the deck that Jarrell Kerr used to get second in the 2014 Texas State Tournament. What's up guys, Epic Pokemon TCG here, and um, as you already saw from a previous video, I covered Michael Feller's uh, first place Texas State deck, or deck, and right now I have a Jarrell second place deck, so without any further ado, we're going to go into this uh, second place deck. So he ran two Xerneas, this is pretty much in here for Geomancy, and if you want Rainbow Spear, Geomancy you can just get two Fairy Energy out of your deck and attach them to Pokemon, so we play two of those. And to move energies, you play a 2 2 Aromatease. And what this does is it has fairy transfer, which you just move fairy energies around. It's going to make the deck viable and it's going to make you able to attack with so many different attackers each turn and <clears throat> just pull off a lot of abilities that you normally can't do with single decks. Then to give your opponent a Pokemon free retreat, you play two Dark Rap. Has a dark look ability, and since he's running like a lot of prism and rainbows, he was getting free retreat. And dark is pretty much a really solid attacker, and so he played two of these just for consistency reasons. And then he ran this combo. Um, I guess a lot of decks are ex heavy. He would move all of his energies to Palkia, and he would safeguard or he would stay and move into Suicune and bring it active, kind of just kind of stall and slow their opponents down. And I think this was a really good combination for him to throw in the deck. So he played deck. And for um, Thunderous and um, Darkrai, he played a Landorus. And he plays Muscle Bands in here. So he would hammerhead and hit for like 100 and start just spreading damage all around, just getting an easy knockout set up. So he plays one Landorus for special conditions and lasers and all kinds of stuff. And also like a damage sponge, he played a Verizian. As y'all know, has Verdant Wind. Y'all pretty much probably know what Verizian did or does now. And then for um, Evatol and Lugias, he played a Zekrom EX. Pretty much just an electric attacker that can hit really hard. And then for mirrors and plasma and just stuff that like relies on the special energies, he played Kambalion. And he told me that a lot of times just this one card won him games just by itself. And then, just to top it off, and that is a really awesome attacker. He played Evatol. If your opponent has something out with just a lot of energies, you can just one shot it with Evatol. And then for the supporters, he played 4N. You all pretty, know, pretty much know what it does. Early game, it's a great draw card, and then late game, it's going to be a really great disruption card. For Juniper, again, pretty obvious, the best draw supporter in the entire game. Since majority of the time, your bench is going to be pretty much full with the Aromatease and just the Dark Eye and Verizian. He played Chorus, so you're going to be drawing into a lot of cards too. Then he played two Skyla. This is going to be hitting your key cards that you might need during the game. It's going to hit your Tool Scrappers, it's going to hit your, your Catcher, your Muscle Band, your Max Potions, Level Ball, Ultra Ball. It's going to hit anything that you need during the game. I mean, I feel like. Three might have been good, but two is a pretty solid number, especially since you know there's so much draw power and there's so much going on in the deck. I think that two is a solid number. And then to finish it off, he played one Shauna. I think this is a pretty, pretty consistent card. Just you know, shuffle and draw five. So that's it for the uh, supporters. And four Ultra Ball and one Level Ball. This is pretty much going to be the ball cards, and these are going to search out Pokemon on your deck. And, um, uh, Level Ball is going to hit your um, Spritzy and I think your Romatis. Yeah. And Ultra Ball is just going to get, you know, key Pokemon you might need in the matchup. It's going to hit, you know, Verizion, Darkrai, you know, just things that you need. Then this one, I like it because you can, you can move around your energy and then you can heal with Max Potion and you just move it back so you can keep your attackers going that, you know, you really need to keep active. Which is also another reason why I think the strafe and safeguard combination worked out so well. Then you play three muscle man. It's pretty much just gonna add damage onto the board and you know just kinda make your Pokemon hit a little harder. I think you know just attaching this to a Landorus against Darkrai or Thunderous, you know, you can basically two shot them. And um, 
And unfortunately, we saw in the final match that he didn't get too lucky with these. He flipped three tails, but he said during like during the tournament itself, during Swiss rounds and everything, he said that these two catchers won him games. So, I mean, it just kind of you know just it just so happens that you know the luck kind of ran out in the last game, but he said that these no, won him games. So. And then for Garbador and other tools you just don't want to put up with, he ran two tool scrapper. <laughs> Again, it's a really great card. Garbador is going to hurt this deck a lot. So, you know, two two tool scrappers, I think, is pretty good. And then, um, just in case for, like, tight situations or, you know, you have something active. Or your opponent has something active you don't want to put up with. Or, you know, you might not have a dark eye. He plays two escape rope. No, that's pretty much what it's in there for. And then to get, like... If um, you're going in a matchup where, you know, like, let's say you know, you're going against, like, Excelgor and they have a Dustmore and they knock out your Verizian or something like that, or you need to key Pokemon to win this game and it happens to get knocked out, or you discard it from a Brutal, or a brutal Juniper or something, he runs a Super Rod, that's going to get it back in your deck and that's going to make it, you know, easier for you to get it out again. So, like and the Ace Pack of Choice that he went with is Dowsing Machine. Again, I feel like this is going to be really important. You can hit Super Rod, you can get, you know, Tool Scrapper out again for Garbodor. Um, you can get a supporter, you can get anything. But pretty much, I think, like, getting, you know, your Tool Scrappers, your Catchers, and, you know, Muscle Band to add on damage or, like, another supporter. I feel like Dowsing Machine was the way to go for this deck. We can get another level, wall, just anything. And um, here's where the energy comes in. It's pretty, pretty standard. Four Rainbow. Three Prism and Six Fairy. He actually told me that if he played if he played in week three, he would swap out a Fairy for another Prism. And he would probably he would probably just or just get rid of the Zekrom altogether and play Raikou. Um, he told me there were some changes he would make to the deck. Okay. He also said that if he played Raikou over this and he goes against Amir, he can snipe the Aromatis on the bench and he can still one hit KO the. Uh, Aromatis, and, or not Aromatis, but the uh, Evital and the Lugis. And that's pretty much all he said. He um, said, yeah, he said if, if he played in week three, there would be some changes in this. But um, basically, I'm covering what he played in, during states in week two. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the deck profile. And um, I, appreciate you, I appreciate you guys for checking out. And uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, or actually give suggestions too for what you guys think Jarrell should have played. And I want to give congratulations for Jarrell to getting second place. I think he did awesome in the tournament. And I want to say thank you, Jarrell, for giving me this deck and uh, letting me go over it every day. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.